Hey guys and thank you so much for tuning back into yet another video. Today's speed ad is all about Squid Game. You guys will have definitely heard about the show by now. It has gone to become the most streamed show on Netflix and has gained over 111 million views less than a month after its premiere, which is literally quite crazy. This video is going to be a huge rant on the show, so make sure you're ready for the speed art. And I'm going to try my best not to spoil the show for you if you haven't watched it already. If you haven't, I highly recommend that you should because it's definitely worth the hype. The poster itself is a pretty big spoiler, the one I made, if you take a close look at it, but whatever. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you have and like the video if you're interested in this type of content. Ring the bell so you don't miss my weekly uploads and let's roll the speed art. Before anybody asks, Yes, I went through the entire show again and took screenshots of the scenes that I felt were the most important and I wanted to make sure all the main characters are included, including all the VIPs. I masked them out individually before the screen record so I don't bore you or myself in the creation of this entire process. A lot of the images are very self-explanatory as to which scene they are from because the show made an amazing direction with the scripting and the camera angles and if you watch the show once and go rewind, you'll definitely know that these images that I'm using are the ones which are the most important scenes. Now, if you're wondering why the frontman isn't here i was playing a trick on my followers on instagram saying he's actually not here because he's hiding in your room to shoot you at night if you don't save this post and that trick kind of worked because 150 people saved the post it's the same thing here make sure you subscribe to my youtube or i'm not gonna be responsible if the frontman murders you at night tonight okay so I want to tell you that I did not add the cop guy in the poster because clearly he didn't add anything to the storyline in my opinion. Now this is not a spoiler but if you haven't watched the show, all you gotta know is there's a cop who tries to figure out about this game and he's trying to be pretty irrelevant in my opinion because he didn't bring much to the table, occupy too much screen time and just didn't make any sense till the ending. Like that guy who comes in the first episode who lures people into playing the game made more sense than that cop so I even managed to add him in the end of the of this poster but no way I'm adding that dumb cop to this poster. Now let's talk about hype. In the era that we are living in, hype doesn't necessarily mean that it is about a good product. Now, hype can be a stupid dumb song with the same words over and over again, say Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. a hundred times and you can get the most streamed song on YouTube that quarter of the year, but this hype for Squid Game with all the bells and whistles were actually really worth it. There'll always be that one guy in the comments saying, oh, I hated the show that is not original, it just didn't stand out from everything else. But most of the responses were very positive and the amount of posts going through my feed just made it hard for me not to check out what the show is actually about. So currently I've been having so much going on with YouTube and Instagram, managing with friends and family, trying to get 8 hours of sleep that I didn't really have any time to watch a show. So once I start a show, I generally get distracted with, oh, I gotta get this done, I gotta get that done. So I haven't really enjoyed watching any movies or shows in like so many months. But with Squid Game, it was so magically different. And before I go any further, please make sure that you watch the show in Korean with English subtitles. Do not, and I repeat, do not watch the show in English dub it is so horrible and it takes away most of the experience was that what you heard you cried and said, but that's the edge. There's no way I'll go. Yeah, that definitely is the worst dub of all time and gives me so much confidence to be a dub artist one day. Anyway, so Squid Game kept me hooked right from the first episode. We get a little bit of backstory in there and all the emotions are so well displayed and the direction is very solid. None of the actors are very familiar to me and I heard a lot of them were very fresh faces. They did such a good job at acting that it kept me so hooked. Like really hooked that I did not even think about all the other things that I had to get done or worry about and other crap that was momentary going on in my life and this automatically checks the most important aspect of a good show or a good movie. If it's keeping you so immersed and taking you to another world while you forget your own, it's automatically a win for the show because that's what it's designed to do. That's why I'm even watching the show in the first place. And throughout the show, they develop so much curiosity inside you that you just feel like, okay, let me go watch another episode before I go to sleep or another one and another one before you know you're done with the show in just two days or even the day you just started watching it.
Episode 6 had to be my most favorite one in the entire show because of a ton of roller coaster emotions. Somehow deep down you can relate to your own personal life with what's being shown on that episode because subconsciously you can relate to the betrayal, subconsciously you can relate to the sacrifice and somehow this episode 6 can show humans can turn into absolute savage animals when it comes to satisfying their own needs and how selfish life can force you to be even when you don't want to be. Like there's also feelings of love and compassion. I really don't know how to explain it to you guys, but that has to be my favorite episode. I just cannot stop crying like a little baby in the end of the show. And you might think after listening to me that all they do is play kids games after every episode, but it's just the first two games really and after that they kind of complicated and level up. Now not everything about the show was really amazing. It did have its own rock bottom. I personally feel like they could have had some good color grading going on. I understand the players wear vans and they have a teal track suit and the soldiers wear red suits with masks on, but a prominent color grade and timeline or different characters could have brought out more pop in the show in my own opinion. When I say episode 6 was my favorite, everything pretty much was downhill from there because for some reason, they just mess it up by spoon feeding you by clearing all the doubts that you've developed and all the curiosity that you've developed as to who's behind it or why is this or that happening in the show. A lot of it could have been kept a mystery because obviously there's going to be more shows by the way the show ended or even if it didn't have a dramatic ending, they'll probably melt the show out like they did with other shows like 13 Reasons Why uh which didn't really need a sequel, but all this mystery could have been answered in the later seasons but all was revealed in just two episodes like really quick in the ending which didn't really sit quite right with me Talking about the ending like I said all the spoon feeding kind of made me guess the ending even if they didn't I feel like the big reveal in the end wasn't all that interesting it was kind of cringe for me that this was the big reveal but maybe that's the best they could come up with also the final few minutes of the show didn't make any sense either because the reason he played the game is because he could provide for his daughter and go see his daughter but somehow he just wants to miss the plane that he was gonna take to go see her and start an investigation on the people behind the squid game kind of dumb in my opinion Anyway that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the speed at poster. Let me know what you think about it and the show. Make sure you subscribe yet again and I'll catch you guys soon with another quality video.